I signed up for the uh, Pacific Crest Trail Association membership, so that way I can uh, get a lot of the perks that come with that. And they sent me this really cool map, and so I've, I've hung this map on the side of uh, where I'm getting everything together. And as I'm doing it, I'm making notes, you know, like uh, in Kennedy Meadows, they say that's where you're going to want to send your bear box. So uh, just keep making notes on here, and uh, I plan on having this all written up when it comes to where I'm going to ship to. I also have uh, a lot of research that I've done online uh, for different shipping points. Um, I got all my maps printed out. There's a, uh, a big plotter that I have at work that... Uh, it's a fucking awesome resource. So, really good topographical maps. Um, I think it's gonna be really important. I'm not gonna wanna rely on GPS. I like the idea of just having maps and a compass. Um, I spent a lot of time looking at the stars just in my pastime as a stargazer. And so I think that'll be really good uh, in terms of, you know, getting my direction and make sure my compass is right uh, rather than lugging around a heavy GPS unit, especially when I'm going to have video recording equipment and uh, everything else I'm going to do with this tutorial as I go. Um, i got a lot of my cooking stuff ready to go. Um, you can see here's a little stove. Uh, I noticed that the way this one, um, the way I made this one, it ended up not being ideal. Um, I don't know if it's the holes that I have on there or what, but when I would put on the top, it would end up putting out the flames, and I, after a night of drinking, me and all my buddies came back here and we're hanging out, and I was telling them about this, and they decided to bust out a knife and dice up uh, a Red Bull can that I had to make a little spacer to give my pot a little more air, which worked out great. Um, I'll probably uh, make this a little more friendly because it, it makes it kind of unstable. Um, but uh, I have this to make another can. It's uh, you know smaller. This is made out of a beer can, and uh, this is just your medium-sized Red Bull can. So I'll make another attempt at making a pot with that can, and then uh, if I need to, uh, actually I was thinking about doing a full-size Foster's can, and rather than uh, cutting it down low. Uh, being able to cut it off and use just the brim to uh, hold itself tight. Now, uh, the downside with that is I'm going to be putting um, all this equipment for, for my stove inside of a can for Kool-Aid. So I got to make sure that, that this height isn't you know too tall for, for a Kool-Aid uh, reservoir. And... I'm not hiking. Uh, I really wanted to do every weekend, go for a hike, and I, I haven't been sticking to it. You know, whether it was uh, staying late, staying up late on a Saturday night and not having time, or um, just not really motivated. Like one day I was feeling sick, and I, I didn't want to go out and get more sick, so I decided to just stay inside where it was warm and do my workout in the house. What I do a lot is, uh, or what I used to do before my Xbox broke is play video games and work out in between rounds of games and just, you know, you can really kick your ass in two minutes if uh, you're really going for it. So I've uh, been pretty good at that. I've been going for runs. Um, I really want you guys to understand what I'm putting myself through and I will be the first one to tell you it's not perfect. Uh, I'm not doing everything ideal. I don't have uh, every single item I need, you know, six months before I'm still wandering around, kind of picking up this, picking up that. Uh, I don't have, I, I do think I'm going to start out with uh, a 15 mile average pace for where I'm going to ship to first. And uh, then after that, I'm thinking about uh, bumping it up to 17 or 20 um, once I get my trail legs on me. Uh, but I don't have all that planned out yet. I don't have where I'm going to be at what mileage point. Uh, I don't even have all the boxes for the food yet. I still need to, uh, I've, I've got some boxes I'm just kind of collecting here, but I need to get, you know, 14, 15 boxes, whatever it is, to uh, have all my food ready. And, uh, but it's, it's not that hard to do. Um, I'm not too worried about it.
But just know that uh, I'm not some sort of hiking professional. I think this is something anyone can do once you just put your head in that direction and, and decide, no, this is happening. I'm doing this. Um, I do like to go for runs. I try and push my cardio. I do two mile runs and I'm getting to the point where um, I'm, I'm at the point where two miles is, is it's cool. I can listen to music and think about other things while I'm running where before I was just like, oh my God, I'm a half mile in. I'm one mile in. I got another mile to go. Uh, I'm, I'm no longer at that stage. Now I'm at the point where at, at the end of two miles, I'm like, fuck it. I want to go a little bit longer. You know, I need to push my cardio out. Uh, so I'll eventually be able to, uh, I'm tracking all of that with Strava, my runs. So you'll be able to see how long my hikes were before I went, what kind of uh, exercise I did in terms of running recorded by Strava. And uh, maybe you can take a look at it and say, yeah, you know, I, I can do this. That, that guy, he did it and shit, he slacked off half the time. Uh, that, that's what I want. I want people to uh, be inspired by this and, and really go for it. I'm not saying anyone should slack off. I'm just saying that uh, I'm not perfect and I'm going for it. Um, safety first, of course. You know, you can't uh, underestimate Mother Nature. You should always be prepared. But uh, at the same time, um, you got to go for it. And the only way you're going to know whether you do it or not is by going for it. So. To everyone else that's doing the uh, 2014 PCT, I can't wait to see you. And yeah, maybe if people could start sending me uh, their, their names or something like that, I could uh, get together and maybe do like a little interview or something. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what you guys would like to see me do on the trail. And um, I'll, I'll do whatever I need to in terms of preparation to make sure I can uh, accommodate any ideas that, that I like. And I'm like, oh yeah, that'd be cool. I should do that. Uh, I definitely plan on filming how I set up my night, how I sleep at night, how I cook my food at night, um, in the morning, how many calories I do, and try and give you guys as much uh, like on the scene information. Uh, it's, it's one thing to see a guy um, with some titanium pots talking about the pros and cons and actually seeing him on the trail you know, after doing so many miles or something and then talking about it. Because uh, maybe I hate my shoes when I'm on the trail, but afterwards my friends ask, how was it? And I'm like, it was great. Uh, it's those little things that you don't quite get secondhand. So I'm going to try and record everything as much as possible to uh, let everyone know what it's really like. You know, what, what you would be getting yourself into if you're doing this hike. And uh, I look forward to it.